this is what happened. I ran into Brian Finnerman, golden ticket Brian Finnerman. I know about the first Brian Finnerman. He wasn't that great. I mean, I mean, what, he's six, seven or whatever. You know, that's pretty good height, pretty good height. Well, I ran into him in a uh, mutt game. And the person that had him knew how to face catch. I know how to face catch. And let's just say, I've never, ever, ever, ever been able to not stop someone. In a game, in mutt, in head to head. This guy was actually ranked in the top Top, actually, the top 10, he was Amp 42. He's in the top 10 on the Xbox One last leaderboard. And first play, you know, he tried to run or something, shut it down. Another play, try to run again, shut it down. And then the third, he would throw up a face catch lob with Brian Fernandez. And it didn't matter what, what it didn't matter, I, I couldn't stop it. It's, it would, and needless to say, after the game, and you know one of those Madden games where everything goes goes wrong to you? Like anything that could go wrong goes wrong? Well, I'm just going to say I fumbled five times in a single game. Five fumbles in a single game. And then I was like, fuck this shit. I'm buying a legendary pack. I'm going after gold ticket Brian Fritter. And this is what I got. This is what I got. The fact that I just dropped $80 on a pack because of a butt whooping I took in mutt just... You, you could tell I was heated. You could tell I was heated. And I'm heated. So I'm, I'm opening this shit and I'm like, you know, come on, just give me give me a golden ticket player. I, I want a golden ticket player. I mean, it was really, if, if I wouldn't experience this, I would never buy one. But it was honestly the worst experience of my life. Like, have you played, have any of you played a golden ticket Brian Finner in? Look at all this stuff. Do you think I'm gonna get a golden ticket, Brian Fernandez? I mean, we've got ten more packs to go. Plus, we get an ultimate legend. We get, I mean, the only ultimate legend I think I would really want are the lineman one. Maybe I get one. Maybe I don't. How many coins do I have at this time? 380. Oh, you want to know who I finally got? I think I actually did. I got Sparkle Jamal Charles. Woo! I finally got him. But here is, you know, we're getting uh, some a lot of rookies. We're getting a lot of rookies and. Some of these rookies sell for a decent amount, and then there is a nice pickup, but he'll never, AJ Green, you won't see the field. I'm actually my, I'm thinking about starting to boycott my all Redskin team, even though it's gonna be a majority of Redskin still on the field. But uh, after having Ray Lewis, Patrick Willis on the field, oh my God, is playing defense fun. You know, no hate to London Fletcher, no hate to Perry Riley. Patrick Willis and Ray Lewis is my middle linebackers. And then, you know, then we got Kerrigan and an Arapko on the outside. They do just fine. They do just fine. They're nice. It, it, it's really fun. I'm going to keep my Redskins secondary, though, for sure. We're going to keep that. And, you know, we're halfway through the packs. Plus one. Plus one. And, you know, we're thinking. This is uh, running out of time. Running out of time. And, and hey, uh, Cromartie, that Cromartie card is actually really, really good. If you have a budget squad, I would get that Ricamardi card. He's a good card. I think he sells for cheap, too. I think it's just because he's high speed. He catches all the interceptions in the world. I don't even know. What are we? What are we, we, have, we really haven't gotten anything. I can't believe I just dropped $80 because of a Brian Finner. I don't know what else to say. Hey, look, another Chris Johnson that goes for anything. Um... That mean Joe Green sells for a decent amount. You know, all this all this stuff so far is like not a single thing stays on my roster. You wanna know what we're looking for? We're looking for Brian Painter. It's honestly the great I, I, we're just gonna go back on top of that. It's honestly the greatest card I've ever seen in my life. You know, all these other golden ticket cards that have came out, you know, I mean they're nice. They're nice. They're definitely nice, but I mean it's they're they're definitely not like something that's like you gotta figure at this time in the game, everybody has like nine, like 95 to 99 overall team. So everybody, the, the playing field's even. The playing field's even. Like I had to give up running a scheme because I didn't. Anytime I play like a 99 overall team, my offensive lineman averaged around like 91, 92 overall, and I couldn't run up the middle. And it was a, it was a kind of annoying. So I had to become a pass oriented. So that's you would have seen me in a few games ago being pass oriented. Not anymore. Well, now I can now I'm back to being run oriented because my my offensive line is nice. It's nice. I'm not gonna lie. But you see, we got three more packs left. Three more packs left. Will, will we get the dream, of Brian Finnerman? 
getting a lot of rookie legend. I don't think we got a couple of them that sell for decent. A lot of these are just cheap rookie legend. And we got a couple of ultimate legends. Like I think I got a Troy Aikman, a Sammy Ba. He fits my team. He's my new backup quarterback. And uh, who else? We got Warren Moon. Very much to choose from here. Not much to choose from here. Might as well see what uh, the ultimate legend is. And it's Troy Aikman. Please. 